Welcome to all the mini enthusiasts, classic car enthusiasts. Uh, I've started to lead load that arch. I put the uh, support arch inside the heritage piece that I got. I sort of weld, was welded in and then welded at the back. And now I've started to lead load it. Um, I'll bring the camera so you can actually see it. Um, but the thing with this is the proof of the pudding of this is, is uh, um, the water, because what will happen is the water sits here all the time, especially on the top, and it rusts this away. So I'll, I'll just do it, as I say, the proof of the pudding is in the heating it. But it'll go all over the place because it's not, but you can see there, it just runs off perfectly. And it doesn't encroach in the arch, as long as you do it below these lines, you can see. Because the problem with this is the wheels, uh, the tyres, the Yokohama tyres, the 13 inch, are so big um, that they, you know, they stick the truth quite a bit out. I mean, that's why the arch has to be on there for legal reasons. And you imagine the water spray that's going up inside here. So the internal part of the arch, the fiberglass arch, I'll, I'll put some, um, use a special, uh, there's a special paint you can use. Um, and it goes like it's like a rubberized. So I paint them, I rubberize them, and then paint them. Uh, well, I get somebody to paint them uh, when the car is painted at the same time, and that should keep it uh, in good condition. Plus the metal bits in the arch. I'm going to put some kind of plastic padding over them or something that will stop them from corroding. Um, as I say, I'll bring the camera up and let you have a look. Uh, before I do that, though, I've got. Um, I went to Graz on Thursday and I went to, well, I don't know, six, seven shops, I guess it was, or six, seven outlets, well-known outlets, and none of them had exactly what I wanted. Um, so what I've done now is my wife, it's my birthday on the 2nd of March, I'm 62, 2nd of March, and uh, my wife's kindly uh, said that she'll buy me for my birthday present, which is quite nice at 60, getting a birthday present, um, that she'll buy me this welding uh, uh, spot welder that I want, which is kind of nice. So um, I, I've got it here. What it is is actually it's a it's the same kind of machine. The machine I was looking at the first time, I think I showed you. Uh, it has a, a pistol spot welder, but it's really only good for aluminium and up to about one mil gauge uh, or, 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 or maybe 22 gauge steel. Uh, and if you've got two thicknesses or you want to do something a bit thicker, like, you know, one and a half or two mil, then it's a problem. So what I've decided is I'm going to upgrade to a, a better machine, which has got um, a handheld uh, spot welder. But it, this device also has a lot of other things. It has uh, uh, a system on it where you can, a probe on it where you can heat the metal uh, to shrink it. You can heat the metal and then put cold water on it to shrink it. The normal system is, is you have a, a grinder with a aluminium or a stainless steel uh, convex disc on it and you rub it all over, almost like grinding. You put some heat into the, into the metal and then you put cold water on it which will shrink the metal. So th with this one you can actually put the probe all the way around where you want it, it kind of glows, almost like, a, almost like a spot welding, but it glows and it heats the panel up very quickly and then you can just quench it. And, but it's also got the, um, all the equipment for pulling out dents. So it's got the, uh, there's different types. There's types with, with um, discs where you can put many discs on or, or, or washers like, they, they come on a washer like and they, and they spot weld. You can put a bar through it and then pull it with fingers on a slide hammer, which it has. Uh, so it's got a few other bits and pieces on it which are gonna come in really handy. As I said, I'm doing an E-Type Series 1 in September for a friend in the in the E-Type Club and he's got a wing that's in really bad condition which will need pulling out and it will need straightening and so what I've also from the same company they've also got an English wheel so I'm going to treat myself to the English wheel and my wife's treating me to the to the welder which is really nice so uh, yeah this one's really nice it's got a, a an overhead kind of um, not a crane but a kind of gantry on it with with a balance spring on it so as you're holding the machine you can it, balance it, it'll either balance the cables, because it's pneumatic, it has pneumatic drawers on, uh, jaws on it, it's uh, um, air operated, so it's, uh, the nice thing about it is you can get extensions for it and everything, because the problem with the, the basic ones, the arms are too short, for something like a Mini on the edge it's no problem, 
or the sills, but when you want to go internally, it is a problem. So this one's got different things on it. So this is the this is the one I'm going to go for now. I'll just put this into the camera so you can see it. But I'm going to pick it up on Monday. So Monday night, look in. Hopefully, I'll have got back. It's about a 500 odd k journey round. But that's the machine I'm going for. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, maybe you can just see it. So that's the machine I'm going for. Uh, and then I've got. Uh, where are we? And this is another part. You can see there's the gun, but it's you can see how it's it's air operated here. Um, but you can extend these arms. Have got big extensions on them, and there's a pistol comes with it as well. It's pretty pro, so uh, I'm, I'm you know quite pleased with that. The other thing I'll be picking up is I've already talked to them, and they're going to organise it for me. Is a is this? I don't know if you can see that, which is a it's an English wheel. It's a bench mounted one. But you got you get about six or eight rollers with it, so uh, yeah. So I'll pick them up on Monday night, and uh, and then we'll. Uh, I'll just show you one more picture. This is a picture I took from the internet that somebody has done on a mini. I don't know if that's going to show up very well. In fact, I'll pick the camera up so you can see it. I'll put it down there. There you go. Uh, you can see this guy's done the wheel arch, and what he's done is he's just cut the edges and then banged them over, but. Really, it's not the way to go. You're going to end up dent damaging this wing terribly. I know it's covered by the arch, but it's not the way to go. Anyway, so just to let you see how this looks up close, you can see. Um, so it's everything's inside, and now I've got the. the I don't know if that's showing up very well, but all the leads in there now. I obviously haven't gone to this part. I started to do this one as well. You can see what I was talking about earlier. Best to put more lead on than less. So now I'm going to have to go back over this. I've just put the primer on it to cover it tonight, but I'll have to go over and put more lead in there, but you can see the seam's gone there. Obviously the lead edging needs doing. I just did it quickly tonight, so there's the edge you've got to carry on, and then it comes down, and you can see it's in there. I haven't finished this off either yet, but it's very nice, and as I say, the, the water works well on it. It just drips, just, just drips straight off. I'll just... I won't. You saw it anyway, but it just... The water comes straight off that edge, which is what you want, because that's just a catch for rust in here. So, I'll get the carry on finishing and this stuff. I'm not going to do any more welding until I get my new welder, and I'll carry on uh, on Monday night. Hopefully, Monday afternoon, I'll pick it up and then bring it up and uh, I guess put it together over a period of a few hours. So, yeah, so that's, that's how it looks. I don't know if you can see that. But that's going to work well. That the water's going to come run straight off there. With the with the smaller tyres, the smaller wheels, the, even the uh, 12, um, you can actually get your hand in between. But with the 13 inch, it really covers the whole arch. Anyway, so that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching in. Um, yeah, this the downside with this was it took about two two bars to do it. Well, actually not two, probably one and a half because that's the other bits of the bars left. So yeah. Maybe one on a bit, uh, but that's only out to there so far. So, uh, but the great thing about lead is it's so easy to bring back to uh, to to a, to a, a shape because it comes out very easy. But it's absolutely solid, and it's made it even firmer. Anyway, again, thanks for watching in. Uh, maybe catch you up tomorrow night when I get it all finished off, and uh, and I'll show you then. So take care and bye for now. Thanks for watching in. Bye.